Hello and welcome to Prime at 9. I'm Nawiki Gon. The agitation of the All Nagaland Ad Hoc Teachers Group 2015 batch has entered 10 days when, while its hunger strike has entered its sixth day. The spokesperson of the group, Bendang, informed that as they enter 10 days of agitation, there have been no initiatives from the government to look into the, their demand. The teachers are demanding regularization. He also informed that the ANATGT has started the hunger strike with 36 volunteers and some have been hospitalized. However, the group has intensified the agitation by adding more volunteers for the hunger strike, it was informed. He said some members who were hospitalized till yesterday are stable. Of the agitation by the All Nagaland Ad Hoc Teachers Group of 2015 batch. And, uh, we are on the sixth day of uh, our hunger strike. Well, over the past few days, we have had numerous challenges, difficulties posed by the, uh, the rainfall or the uh, too much of uh, sunshine and things like that. But uh, it has been a very pleasant day. And while talking about that, despite all those challenges, it's a very place pleasing statement for me to make that the members of Anadji has, you know, over the time, uh, stood united, has held uh, together with the notion that we are here for one objective, we are just here with one demand and yes, that is our service regularization. These, some of our members had to be hospitalized. Today we have the plans of intensifying this hunger strike by, uh, by adding up more volunteers, they have all come up. Uh, they have all come forward voluntarily stating that uh, if this is the response or if this is the attitude of the government then we shall also join in with the hunger strike so with that notion we are uh, we, we have been compelled to push up the number of uh, the attendance in the hunger strike they also came and told it very firmly that even though I have this kind of health conditions, I'm going to be here, I'm going to be standing here until and unless our demands are met. So that is the kind of uh, zeal, that is the kind of will of our general members uh, which has indeed pushed uh, the, the core committee to go. Well, to speak along with that, I, on behalf of uh, all the ad hoc teachers who are gathered here, would like to request the people who are there to solve our issues, our matters, that we are also, you know, uh, union employees of the state government. And we have been struggling here for the past 10 days. And for any kind of organization or an association, it is not easy to maintain those kind of a agitation for this uh, prolonged period. We are, of course, uh, very sick, and very tired, emotionally, mentally, physically. We are almost drained out. And if the uh, lack of interest from their end, from your end, continues, then I think that will not be very favorable for any of the parties involved in this tussle. Well, at the same time, I would also very uh, humbly say that this is not a threatening message or this is not a threat that we are, we are giving out, but rather an appeal on humanitarian ground to come forward to it and at least try to redress our issues. The Western Teni Mihoho has objected to the use of traditional Naga symbols and motifs on Durga Buja bundles and has appealed for necessary action in this regard. The president of the Western Teni Mihoho wrote a letter addressed to the president of the Hindu Seva Samiti, a copy of which was received here on October 5. The letter noted the alleged use of traditional Naga symbols or motifs in Durga Puja bundles without permission or consent, which the Hoho said, had heard the sentiments of the Tenimi people. 
The traditional symbols and motif have their own cultural significance to which the Nagas hold dear and random use of it cannot be tolerated. The organization stated it always believes in respect and peaceful coexistence with every community and will continue to do so and it also expects other communities to respect the Naga traditions. The Western Teni Mihoho said it is a sacrilege to the Naka community's traditions and religion, stating that it is its sin sincere desire to maintain cordial relations with every section of people practicing various traditions and religions. The Hoho has appealed to the Hindu Seva Samiti to reciprocate and take necessary actions to maintain peace in the society. Amid the strong opposition from civil society, the Manipur government on October 5 introduced a draft for the state's liquor regulation policy. As per the draft policy, the government is aiming to legalize alcohol in a bid to eradicate distillation, possession, transportation, consumption and sale of illicit liquor and restrict the availability of local liquor as well as Indian-made foreign liquor and foreign-made foreign liquor. With this, the state government also wants to reduce the impact of illicit and adulterated liquor on health as well as reduce the demand for intoxicating drinks. The draft policy also emphasized the government's goal of prohibiting the manufacturing and sale of local brew or country liquor within Manipur without FSSAI safety certification. The draft also proposes to provide technical and other assistance in the production and exportation of the local brew outside of Manipur. Furthermore, no IMFL, FMFL or country liquor will be sold except at outlets licensed by the government and managed by a government agency or license holder. As per the draft, the licenses for the sale and serving of liquor will be granted only to specified hotels and tourist destinations with at least 20 rooms and hygienic conditions. Besides this, the policy also said that no liquor will be sold or served to anyone under the age of 25. On September 20, in a major development, the Manipur government allowed the selling of Indian-made foreign liquor in hotels with 20 rooms. The decision was taken during a cabinet meeting and with this development, the liquors will be sold in the state for the first time since 1991. In a swift action by Imphal West Police, a 43 years old man was arrested on Wednesday after CCTV footages of the accused showed him touching a young girl inappropriately. The video went viral on social media. The accused was identified by police as one Haobam Ipomcha Singh of Lalampung Makong in Imphal West District. The CCTV footage shows a man said to be the accused inappropriately touching a lone young girl who is said to have been going for tuition on Tuesday. The incident is reported to have uh, happened at Keshambat in Imphal West. The accused was riding a white scooty. Manipur Chief Minister Anbiran Singh posted a photo of the accused along with the Imphal West police team. He wrote on his wall that he came across a CCTV footage of a man misbehaving with a student in broad daylight. The accused, Haupam Ipomcha Singh, aged 43 years of Lalampung Makong, has been arrested a while ago, he wrote. Any person involving in such heinous crime will not be spared. Please beware, the state police is swift in responding to these crimes, the chief minister stated. The young girl said she raised alarm, but she was too startled and not many people came forward. However, she was brave enough to seek help of people who helped her file a complaint. The police team was able to trace the accused through CCTV footages. Union Home Minister Amit Shah today ruled out any dialogue with Pakistan and asserted that the Narendra Modi government will wipe out terrorism from Jammu and Kashmir and make it the most peaceful place in the country. Addressing a rally, Shah asked whether terrorism has ever benefited anyone as it has claimed 42,000 lives in Jammu and Kashmir since the 1990s. He also blamed the families of the Abdullahs, Muftis and Nehru Kanti for the alleged underdevelopment of Jammu and Kashmir as they ruled the erstwhile state most of the time since independence in 1947. <laughs> भ्रष्टाचार रोकने के लिए पूरे देश भर में 
एंटी करप्शन ब्यूरो था मगर एक तीन परिवारों ने मेरे जम्मू कश्मीर के अंदर एंटी करप्शन ब्यूरो को घुसने नहीं दिया मैं समझ नहीं पा क्यों घुसने नहीं दिया मित्रों आज मैं पूछने आया हूं फारूक साहब और महबूबा जी को आप हिसाब लाइए सत्तर साल तक के तीन परिवारों ने शासन किया कितना इन्वेस्टमेंट आया जम्मू कश्मीर में कितनी इंडस्ट्री आई कितने कल कारखाने लगे कितने युवाओं को रोजगारी मिली सत्तर साल के अंदर सिर्फ पंद्रह हजार करोड़ का इन्वेस्टमेंट आया और मोदी जी ने ये तीन साल में छप्पन हजार करोड़ का इन्वेस्टमेंट आज जम्मू कश्मीर में लाने का काम किया है पहले ये टेररिस्ट हॉटस्पॉट था आज टूरिस्ट हॉटस्पॉट मित्रों आप एक बात बताइए ये मुझे सलाह देते हैं ये मुझे सलाह देते हैं कि पाकिस्तान से बातचीत कर मुझे सलाह देते जिन्होंने सत्तर साल तक यहां राज किया वो लोग सलाह देते हैं पाकिस्तान से बात करो मेरा स्पष्ट मत है मैं पाकिस्तान से बात करना नहीं चाहता मेरे बारा मुद्दा के गुर्जर पहाड़ी और पत्रकार भाई को मैं कश्मीर के युवाओं को बात करूं जरा खुली नजर से खुले दिमाग से सोचिए जिन्होंने दहशत गर्दी फैलाई इसने कश्मीर का क्या भला आज पूरे देश के सभी राज्य आगे बढ़ रहे हैं कश्मीर को भी वो देश Shah also said the, the Narendra Modi government does not tolerate terrorism and wants to wipe it out. Shah said some people often talk about Pakistan, but he wanted to know how many villages in Pakistan occupied Kashmir have electricity connections. Coming down heavily on three political families for the second consecutive day, the Home Minister alleged that their rules were full of misgovernance, corruption, and lack of development. Telangana Chief Minister and Telangana Rashtra Samiti President K. Chandrasekhar Rao on Wednesday launched the Bharat Rashtra Samiti, the new name of the Telangana Rashtra Samiti, marking his first step towards becoming a national party ahead of the 2024 elections. The launch took place at 1.19 p.m. today. The announcement was made at the State General Body meeting of ministers, MPs, MLAs, MLCs and district level coordinators among other leaders at the party headquarters. Telangana Pavan in Hyderabad. Responding to Prime Minister Narendra Modi's calls for peace, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky on Wednesday said that Kyiv will not conduct negotiations with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Zelensky had a telephonic conversation with the Indian Prime Minister on October 4. Zelensky emphasized the need of strengthening the India-Ukraine ties against the backdrop of Russian military invasions in Ukraine. PM Modi, on the other hand, reiterated India's position on the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Reacting to the referendum in four Russian-occupied areas of Ukraine, Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia and Kherson, Zelensky noted that all the aggressors' decision aimed at attempting illegal annexation of Ukrainian territories are null and void and do not change reality. The Department of Mizo, Mizoram University and ACE Events and Rentals organized a four-day festival called the Evolution Fest. This festival is funded by the Ministry of Culture. The festival is organizing various events such as a cycle rally, a seminar, a local product expo, panel discussions, career guidance and soft skills training which will be followed by a cultural program. The festival commenced on October 4 with a cycle rally and a seminar on Mizo language and literature. According to S. Lalmai Puya, proprietor of ACE events and rentals, the idea of organizing the local product expo is to show that the people of Mizoram have the skills, ability and dedication to follow their passion. Ready. 
Uh, today, the Department of Mizo, in, in association with Ace Evans and Rentals, had the opportunity to organize this festival. Uh, for this festival, Evolution Fest, uh, which is funded by uh, Ministry of Culture, Government of India, uh, under the aegis of Azadi Khan in Mahotsa. Uh, we are grateful. Um, you know, the festival will organize seven events cycle rally, a grand seminar, a local product expo, and then a live panel discussion, and what's this? A, 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 a live panel discussion and career guidance for students uh, with soft skills training. And then uh, to close this event, we will organize a cultural evening, grand cultural evening. Um, festival was kicked off yesterday uh, with the cycle rally and then it was followed by the Grand Seminar and today we had this local product expo. Uh, uh, the idea of organizing this local product expo is to show that the uh, local people of Mizoram had the dedication, the skills, uh, the ability to show their, to, to follow their uh, personal dream. The event saw various kinds of trades. Some of the stall owners stated that this is the first expo where their trades have fit in. Rastriya Swayam Sevak Sang Chief Mohan Bhagwat on Wednesday said that it is neither the nature of the Sang nor Hindus to endanger the minorities while also adding that the RSS resolves to stand on the side of brotherhood. Notably, opposition parties including the Congress have accused the RSS of trying to divide society and making people fight against each other. Addressing the occasion of the Vijaya Dashmi festival here, where mountaineer Sandosh Yadav was the chief guest, Pakwad said, scare mongering is done among minorities, that there is danger to them because of the RSS or the Hindus, he said. This has not happened in the past, nor will it happen in the future, and this is neither the nature of Sang nor of the Hindus, he asserted. He said that neither threatens nor gets threatened is the kind of Hindu society that is needed. माता वास्तव में हमारी जगत जननी भारत माता है है देह विश्व आत्मा है भारत माता सृष्टि प्रलय पर्यंत अमर यह नाता क्योंकि बाकी किसी के पास वो जोड़ने वाली बात नहीं है बाकी की किसी के पास ये चार मूल्य नहीं है बाकी किसी के पास इतना गौरव संपन्न इतिहास परंपरा नहीं है इस भूमि ने हमको अन्न जल तो दिया ही पुष्ट तो किया ही विश्व की प्रतिष्ठा दी और हमको अपना संस्कार दिया वह मातृभूमि उसकी भक्ति ये हमारी पहचान का मुख्य आधार है हमारे स्व का वो मुख्य आधार है इन बातों को ध्यान में रखना चाहिए इसके आधार पर समाज की जागृति हो इसके आधार पर हम आगे बढ़े इसी को हम हिंदुत्व कहते हैं संघ का सारे समाज को यही आह्वान है क्योंकि यह सारे समाज की विरासत विरास है भारतवर्ष की चतुस्सीमा में रहने वाला जो अपने आप को भारत का मानता है उन सब की यह विरासत है यह विचार हिंदू राष्ट्र का विचार है ऐसा लोग कहते हैं क्योंकि वो है हिंदू राष्ट्र का यही विचार है इसलिए हम कहते हैं हिंदुस्तान हिंदू राष्ट्र है इन बातों को मानने वालों का संगठन हम कहते हैं हम कहते हैं हम हिंदू संगठन करते हैं हम किसी का विरोध नहीं करते सर्वे शाम और अविरोध चलता लोग हैं जो इसी को मानते लेकिन इसको हिंदू कहने से कतराते या डरते हैं या विरोध भी करते हैं है नहीं चाहिए ये सब लेकिन आशा यही है हमको कोई कष्ट नहीं है उसका हमारा उनके साथ कोई झगड़ा नहीं है भारतीय शब्द का उपयोग करते इंडिक शब्द का उपयोग करते चलता है अर्थ वही है हम अपनी स्पष्टता के लिए इस शब्द पर पक्के रहेंगे इसका उपयोग करेंगे The three-day event, Witness Music Conference, which commenced on October 3, concluded today in Kohima. Talking to Hornbill TV, the convener of the WMC, Tetsomong, said Witness Music Conference is an exclusive contemporary platform for youths to build oneself spiritually as God's witnesses and to take their singing to professional levels by winning the Witness Music Award. It aims to be a bridge for upcoming Christian artists who are passionate and wants to take up a career in singing. The Bible verse Acts 5.32 And we are witnesses to these things and so is the Holy Spirit or whom God has given to those who obey Him is said to be an inspiration. The winners of the competition won 
60,000 and 30,000 for the first, second and third prize in that order. Engineer Sao Sangdam, the speaker at the WMC said, people love miracles and healing and expect them. But he asked how many are not willing to repent or dedicate their lives to Jesus. Mentioning the Bible verse from the book of Isaiah 59 too, that it is sin that is separating us from God, the people were urged to live in righteousness so that God will see the people and answer their prayers. 150 verse 6 says, let everything that is breath praise the Lord. Here what we're doing in this Witness Music Conference, you know, first of its kind, we are bringing youths from 16 to 32 years. We're bringing together through music and through powerful preaching, through sharing the gospel, we are building our youths and revamping our faiths so that not just today, but even for tomorrow, we are building a good leadership, a leaders that love Jesus Christ in so that they, they may just spread out to every corners and still be continuing to live a Christ-like life. So behind me you can see these are all youths uh, involved in uh, group activities. We don't intend to stop this witness music conference uh, this year but we want to continue uh, as long as we can and I believe the Lord will be in our favor. So hey, whoever is watching, God bless you, continue to love Christ, sing for Christ. Thank you. Ask God to bless you. Lord, see me this morning. Lord, see me this morning. Identify me this morning. Hila nyitar cha nyitar sang lile. Ta nye abudong bana, nyika do nye anye do ngunu mao. You also identify yourself to God now. Shout to the Lord, Lord, see me. Listen, think. Lord, listen. Look at me, Lord. Look at me, Lord, and bless me this morning. Ask God to bless you this morning. Ask God to see you this morning. Unless God sees you. He cannot bless you. Don't look to your legs. You may have the talent. You may have many things. But do you have the blessing from the Lord? Thank you, my Jesus. Receive your blessing. Receive your blessing. Receive your blessing. Don't look at the things you do. Hallelujah. To restore relationship with your father out there at that day. I think that I'm a little bit of 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 a little
That's all for now. Keep watching Hornbill TV.